Hey everyone and welcome to our 68th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert and I will once again be your host for today's show. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in to watch us today. Um, you know, we really appreciate it. Uh, a little housekeeping. Before we get started, uh, if you enjoy this episode or any of our previous episodes, any of the 68 that we have done in the past, uh, please like them, comment on them, uh, share them on social media. We really appreciate it. Um, and also, if you want to see our notes, uh, you can check them out on our blog page, whisper.com slash blog. We post all of our notes on there, all of our videos on there, a bunch of written blog posts on there, you know, going back six, seven years. Uh, you can search stuff on there. It's a great place of wealth of information. Um, we post all our videos, obviously, on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Make sure you're following us on all three platforms. If you're posting any pictures of your brewing process, you got to tag us on Instagram. We love sharing your guys' brewing pics on the gram, so make sure you're tagging us at Mr. Beer using hashtag Mr. Beer so we can find them, share them, like them, all that fun stuff. Um, all right, now this topic is a pretty basic one for you guys, but I think it's one that maybe not, not a lot of people might not know why you do it, or a lot of new brewers will might get a little wild and do it. Uh, so it's why you should not boil your hop malt extract. So we say this in the instructions not to do it, uh, but thought we'd just talk about it in a little more detail of why you shouldn't do it. Um, I think it's probably one of the mistakes we see most often from new brewers, especially, or from people who try to go like mad scientists for the first time. So they brew like one batch and they're like, I got it. And they want to get grains and hops and do all their own things. And then they wind up like boiling hops in their HME or just doing something funky. Um, so we kind of want to, you know, the, or show what, why you shouldn't do that. Um, and also I think a lot of people, when you see like pictures online or videos of brewing with just brewing in general, you think of all this boiling and equipment and transferring and all these different complex processes. But as everyone knows, one of the unique things about Mr. Beer is that we use hop malt extract. So you don't have to do any of that stuff. We take a lot of the complex stuff out of the process. So all the boiling, all that stuff is already done. So you don't have to do that. Um, so if you do boil your hop malt extract, what it does, it leads to off flavors in your beer, just like everything bad that you do leads to off flavors in your beer. Um, so a quick side note here, it should be noted that uh, I will do a separate video on this later. Hot malt extract and malt extract are two different things. They're both malt extracts, but one is hops, one is obviously unhopped. You can do different things with those. Um, all right, so back to so you never want to boil your hot malt extract can. So the can of hot malt extract contains isomerized hops. This means that the hops in the can have already been exposed to a certain amount of heat to achieve to achieve a specific level of bitterness to that style. So for brewing, you know, the American lager, those hops were boiled to a certain or were boiled for a certain time to achieve bitterness. But in the long play IPA, it's more bitter, so those hops were boiled for a little bit longer. Just like if you're brewing recipes like an IPA or lager, boil hops for different variables to get different bitterness. So if you do decide to boil your HME or you accidentally boil your HME, um, you get an off flavor and it'll make your beer a lot darker. So what happens when you boil it is that you risk um, over isomerizing the hops, which will lead to extremely like disgusting bitterness, like not enjoyable bitter IPA bitterness, but just bad bitterness. And also create like a medicine-like flavor in your beer, which is just not good. Who wants to drink medicine for beer? Um, beer should be your medicine. Yeah, but uh, these are flavors that obviously you cannot condition out. So once you do that, you're kind of just going to have a bad beer. So never boil your hot malt extract. All hot malt extracts are even pre-boiled to kind of make the brewing process a little easier. All of our hot malt extracts are brewed by Cooper's Brewery. Uh, we did a video last year where we talked about kind of the process of how hot malt extract is made and why Cooper's is so unique and different from other breweries out there and other companies that make hot malt extract. They, you know, or even the interview we did with Tim Cooper a while back. It's just great information that's out there uh, for you guys to check out of why Mr. Beer and Cooper's malts are, are so good. So just remember that when you're brewing, never boil your can of hot malt extract. So it's going to wrap it up. Like I said, it was a pretty basic topic, but a quick topic, something I wanted to cover real fast. So we'll have another episode for you guys next week. Um, always, if you want to learn more about Mr. Beer, brewing with Mr. Beer, join our brewing society. It's our Facebook group called Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. You can find it by searching Mr. Beer's Brewing Society on Facebook. We ask that you answer three questions or we won't let you in. If you don't answer them, 
you just gotta answer them. They're so simple. Three easy questions to let you in. All kinds of fun stuff, like 1,500 people in there. It's really great. Uh, if you watch this video to the end, there's a coupon code in there for the month of August for 15% off. Uh, we let people in like once a month. So, or not once a month, once a week. Uh, uh, so once a week, sometimes twice a week, we try to let everybody in batches so you can be welcomed and into our awesome brewing society. So that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hope you're having a great week and drinking some home brews. Cheers.